With the delicious recipes pro plugin, you can choose to auto load the content of the previous or next recipe posts inside the single recipe page. This feature mainly enhances the user interaction by providing the site visitors with the ability to read other recipes without having to leave the current page. In this video, I will show you how to auto load recipes on single recipe post step by step. Let's get started. First, you have to log in to your WordPress admin dashboard. From Delicious Recipes, go to Settings. Now, from under General Settings, you have to enable the Autoload Recipes option. Click on Save Changes. Now, let's go back to our site. Give it a refresh. Now, scroll down. Right after this recipe completes, or right after this recipe comes to an end, another recipe autoloads automatically. And right after this one finishes, the next recipe autoloads, and so on. Let's go back to our dashboard. Now, if the autoload recipes option was not enabled, let me show you the difference by disabling the toggle here. Click on save changes. Let's go back to our site and give it a refresh. Now, when this recipe comes to an end, another recipe will not autoload. And that is because we have disabled the autoload recipes option. We will enable autoload recipes. Then you can select the number of recipes to autoload per recipe page from here. You can either decrease the number or you can easily increase it. Let's set the number of recipes as 3. Then you can also autoload recipes filter. Here, you need to choose the default autoload filter for the recipes. You will find two options previous and next. Selecting the previous option will load the recipes that were posted earlier than the current recipe, whereas selecting the next option will load the recipes that were posted after the current recipe. I'm going to go with the default option and click on Save Changes. Also, let's go to our front end. Please note that all the functions provided in the recipe floating bar such as print option, social sharing option, reading mode option, timer option, like button, add to favorites option will work individually for each recipes that are auto-loaded in the single recipe post. Which means, no matter how many recipes are auto-loaded, all the functions provided to the recipe floating bar will work individually for each recipes that autoloads. So that was it. If you have any questions or confusions, please do let me know in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to our support team. I have added the link to creating support ticket in the description box below. If you liked this video, please give us a like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please help us grow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.